Nissan Murano has earned its keep as one of the most stylish SUVs in the mainstream marketplace. And while the third generation model, well, clearly builds on this tradition, this time around, it set its sights a bit higher. The goal? To produce a Lexus RX fighter at a Ford Edge price. The motivation behind this ambitious development strategy centers on the Murano's striking, if not polarizing design. Visual highlights include Nissan's now signature boomerang headlights and taillights, a floating roof line, and body sides so intensely contoured that special stamping tools were needed to manufacture them. Much like the half-shaved hairstyle, however, it's a look that might not age well. And while defenders will say there's no mistaking the Murano for anything else on the road, the same can be said for a Pontiac Aztec. Awkward aesthetics aside, you were pleased with the manner in which the Murano conducted itself around town. The Murano is one of those vehicles that, in terms of dynamics, is split right down the middle. The steering, apart from a little bit of on-center slack, is decent. The power, decent. The handling, decent. Really, it's pretty decent. Would be the takeaway. On the highway, the cabin is well isolated from road and wind noise. The ergonomics are spot on. You know, we should really talk about this. This is what Nissan calls Jasper Pearlescent Trim. It, it kind of takes you through an emotional roller coaster. At first you hate it, and then you like it, and you don't like it, and then you think, eh, it's decent. For those who prefer not to be viewed as a bloodthirsty ivory dealer, brushed silver trim is also available. With it, the Murano's cabin feels decidedly more tasteful than its eccentric exterior would suggest. Add to that supremely comfortable front seats, Very comfy. soft yes, touch points, yes. and optional ambient interior lighting, and it's safe to say Nissan's upmarket objectives have paid off in some respects. The revised Nissan Connect infotainment system now boasts a 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen, larger icons, faster response times, and an expandable suite of mobile apps. Out back, legroom slots neatly between the Volkswagen Touareg and Ford Edge. Headroom is also a non-issue, despite the Murano's swept-back roofline. The rear seats recline and fold completely flat to reveal 69.9 cubic feet of total cargo space, which, once again, splits the difference between its Ford and Volkswagen foes. Rear seat fold-down levers in the cargo area are a nice touch as well. From the entry-level S-grade to the range-topping Platinum model, every Murano features a 3.5-liter V6 tied to a next-generation continuously variable transmission. Armed with what Nissan calls D-Step logic, the CVT now acts more like a traditional automatic during normal acceleration. And whether you're out for front or all-wheel drive, EPA ratings remain the same at 21 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway. In terms of equipment, base model buyers will drive away with dual zone climate control, passive entry with push button start, a six speaker audio system linked to a seven inch touchscreen, a backup camera, and 18 inch alloy wheels. Higher trim levels can be had with Nissan's handy 360 degree around view monitor, a panoramic moonroof, premium audio by Bose, a power liftgate, ventilated front seats, and a larger eight inch touchscreen with navigation. Though its $42,000 loaded price still undercuts base versions of the Volkswagen Touareg and luxury branded sport utes by roughly $2,000, the Murano doesn't offer such high-end feature content as adaptive cruise control, automatic high beam control, or lane keeping assist. Knowing what we know now, can the Murano genuinely contend with luxury nameplates like the Lexus RX and BMW X5? No, not really. But against more conventional rivals like the Ford Edge and Volkswagen Touareg, the Nissan Murano certainly holds its own.